These are the six cool hackable robots that you get with the year one of the Hack Pack subscription from Crunch Labs, the company created by Mark Rober. It's $400 for this yearly subscription, worth it to get these six robots. Is that all you get from it, are six toys? There's much more to it than that. In fact, if you were to engage with the Hack Pack robots as they're designed, you learn so much because it doesn't just stop when you build the Hack Pack. You can then hack them, which is by far the best part about the Hack Packs and pretty much what sets them apart from most any other type of toy or STEM type project that you will get online right now. Here are some of the hacks that I made with my first year box. And the cool thing is I've made all of this code available on the Hack Pack Discord. Jump on there, find the hack, upload your code, and you are good to go. That's the other cool thing about this community. We share our hacks with each other. So if you like what somebody else did, you can grab their hack, and if you want to even modify it, upgrade it, make some tweaks to it to make it your own. It's a fantastic community to help one another to support our development and growth in this skill by using the Hack Pack as a platform to do that. So here's what you get with the year one subscription. These six robots, you have the IR turret, the domino robot, the label maker followed by the sand garden laser tag, which you do get two of them to be able to play, and to finish off the year, the balance bot. And with each robot, you learn a new type of skill, a new aspect to engineering. And oftentimes you can use those skills to interact with other robots. For example, the IR remote and IR remote controller from the IR turret can be used through any of the other bots. Once you get the balance bot, you have the distance sensor that you can then use on any other robot like I did with the IR turret, creating the Squid Games hack like here. Because of the microcontrollers, you can code it to do a lot of different things. Add some new sensors to it or effectors and create some really cool hacks. So it's much more than just a toy that you play with. It's a toy that you engage with, that you explore all of these engineering skills and then grow from there. Some other perks that you get with the hack pack that you aren't likely going to get from something you buy on Amazon are the booklets to help you build it are fantastic. They are precision along with a video that comes with each robot. 20 minutes, 30 minutes that walks you through what you're learning in that video, shows off some of the hacks from earlier on, as well as doing a walkthrough step by step, showing you exactly how to build it. You don't find that very often. I've bought a few other ones and they definitely lack that component of teaching you how to use it, how to build it. They certainly aren't as well put together as the hack packs. In addition to that, you also have the Crunch Labs IDE. Simply think of it as a code editor that gives you access to the code. It doesn't just come with one code, but often three, if not four different codes that you can use directly out of the box. You just have to upload it to your microcontroller with no changes, but they also help you learn because there's the different levels. A level one, which locks out all the code. Level two allows you to update some of the variables to see some changes. And level three gives you full access to all the code to write any of your own code that you would want. All of this giving you the ability to learn code in a safe environment. And again, if you get stuck, go ahead and use the Hack Pack Discord. Use this channel to be able to learn the code for several of these robots and how they are used. The good thing is the website is still growing, so it's not finished yet. They have some big plans for the future development of the Crunch Labs IDE to make it even more user-friendly down the road. So you're going to get more out of it than just what even currently is available to you now. But since it's an Arduino, you can use the Arduino IDE as well.
The other core resource at your fingertips is the HackPack Discord. That allows you to chat with other HackPack hackers for a specific problem. You will find me on there quite regularly helping troubleshoot and just interacting with the community, engaging in other hacks, and then just supporting the community as a whole. And while you're on the HackPack Discord, you can actually rate the different bots. Let us know which one is your favorite and give the different characteristics, whether it's great at being hackable or just user-friendly or whether the build was fairly straightforward. And if you want more detailed information on any of these bots, go ahead and check the specific video on that bot to see what you can expect. I will be honest though, the hack packs are a little bit more advanced. So if you're new to coding or to any other engineering skills, it may be difficult, but it's certainly not too much. Again, the community is here to support you. We can help you out. You can watch all of my videos on how to do most of the things with the hack packs that you would want to do. It just may take more time to understand all of the different details and learn what you need to, particularly with the coding. But in the end, it's certainly worth it. These are skills that you could take for the rest of your life. Software engineering is a huge skill set that you can take anywhere. It wouldn't be a fair assessment if I didn't point out some of the challenges that you may have as a hack pack hacker. First and foremost, sometimes you will get some components that are broken and need to get replaced. It can be very frustrating and they're working as hard as they can to alleviate that so it doesn't happen, but on occasion it does happen. But again, they have free replacements, so it's just a loss of time more than anything. Once you get it back up and running, you're good to go. The core thing is I believe the Crunch Labs team stands behind their product. They want you to be able to engage with it as much as possible, and that's why they offer the free replacements. If you make the mistake of plugging in the wires in the wrong spot, you can fry your microcontroller, but they'll still replace it because they want you to be able to get the most out of your robots. But I will be honest. If your child is just looking for this as a toy and they aren't planning on engaging to hacking it, you'd be better off getting a regular robot for the one price instead of buying the whole year subscription. So if you think it's worth it, go ahead and use my link in the description, jump you straight to Crunch Labs and you can get your hack pack subscription started today with the IR turret. If you're ready to jump in, check out this video that helps you get started with the hack packs.